Hey guys, I'm Ignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we are going to see what are the transformations available in Apache Beam and basically what is transformations. So before starting, I just wanted to give a quick recap about what the play about the playlist. So in this playlist, we'll be seeing a, uh, seeing a, a new big data technology called Apache Beam. So in previous videos, I have I have ex, I have explained about what is Apache Beam, gave a quick introduction on it, and what is pipeline in Apache Beam, followed by what are the P collections in Apache Beam. So going forward, I'll be explaining what are the different types of transformations available in Apache Beam. There are basically three types of transformations. One is core transform, not the basic three types like the transformation which will be coming under three different topics. Those are core transformations which is available in Apache Beam, element wise transformations and the aggregator functions. So I am planning to uh, cover that all cover all the transformations which is available in Apache Beam in seven to eight videos. I'll be uploading all those videos very shortly. So without any further delay, we'll get started with today's video. So in today's video, we are going to see map, flat map and filter transformations in Apache Beam. We'll be seeing what is map, flat map and filter and we will be seeing how to implement it practically. So map, flat map and filter are element wise transformations. So it will basically uh, work on the top, work on the P collections element wise. Like it will take one element and perform some operation and will write it to, it will take that data to the next level in the pipeline. So this is what element wise transformations is. So we will see what to map. Map is nothing but it applies a simple one to one mapping function over each element in the collection. So it will take one P collection. It will take one element in the P collection, do some transformation function and it will move it to the other P collection. So it will take one P collection, map, do the function and write, write it to the same P, same element. So it is basically one to one. So next followed by flat map. So flat map is again. It takes a simple P collection, simple uh, single element in the P collection, do, st do some transformation to it and it will map to many functions in the P collection. So the many elements are flattened into the resulting collection. We will see what this actually means in the practical implementation of this video. The next thing is filter. So basically you can assume filter as an, a condition where the specified condition meets will be filtering that data and will be storing it to the P collection. So the next thing is lambda function. The lambda function is again, it is an anonymous function. Uh, basically people from programming background must have heard about this lambda function and it is a very popular function in uh, Python as well. So it will take a lambda function can take number of arguments, but can have only one expression. So we will see what is lambda function also in practical implementation. So enough of the theory part. We will see what is what and everything we, we will see in the practical implementation. For practical implementation, I'll be using Google Collab Notebooks. So if you wanted to learn more about these functions, basically you can go through these links and uh, learn a lot about this element wise agree, element wise functions. So we will now open the Google Collab Notebook. So this is my Google Collab. Uh, I have installed the package. Basically all these things will be uh, has been explained in the previous video. I'll give all the links. You can take it from there. So pip3 install Apache Beam. This I have already installed it. So this is why I have, this is what why I'm getting this uh, this requirement already satisfied error message. So to give a quick introduction about Google Collab, Google Collab is an uh, a session based uh, no environment where if you disconnect or if you come out of the session, no, you have to again install everything from the beginning. So um, I'm not going to deep dive deep into this Google Collab and all. I assume everyone has some uh, uh, knowledge, uh, some basic knowledge on Google Collab or Jupyter Notebooks, all those things. We'll be using in installing Apache Beam and then we'll be importing Apache Beam as B, Beam. So I'll be using this list to list all the direct, what are the directives present inside this folder. So sample data on students. We will see uh, what is present in student text in the, in in like in next two or three minutes. So first map applies a simple one to one mapping function over each element in the collection. So this is my pipeline and this is guard like this is my uh, 
I have created a pipeline plans. This is my entire pipeline. So by I, like plans is my entire pipeline. So pipeline is again with beam dot pipeline as pipeline. I'm importing this beam dot pipeline as pipeline. This is my P collection. I'm creating a function gardening plants using create function. So I'm using this strawberry, carrot, eggplant, tomato, potato. So I'm using this function strip reader and new line. This will basically strip this uh, special character and slash in. So this is map function. I'm using map function for it. So basically it will remove this and, and it will remove this also. And I'm just viewing the video like viewing the output beam dot map print. So this is the final output same ways I can use it for map tuple also if basically if the element in our P collection is in the form of tuple uh, then we'll be using this map tuple for key value pass to remove the um, to perform our operations on that um, element in the P collection. So beam dot create is usually taking one icon on strawberry carrot eggplant tomato potato and I'm using map tuple using the lambda function. So this lambda function takes two argument and it takes only one expression format icon plan so it will uh, uh, like it will uh, combine this key and value pair you can assume like this it is combining and giving the output this is what map tuple does and the next thing is flat map so it flat map again it's an example like flat map is applies a simple one to many mapping function over each element in the collection so to explain this I'm creating a flat uh, data strawberry carrot eggplant tomato and potato everything is in the it is a single element in the p collection i'm using basically flat map and split words like i'm uh, splitting on the comma sides like this is what the function is it will basically split on the comma and it will give you give me the final result so if i use flat map everything is basically it is one in a single line now it is different like multiple line strawberry carrot eggplant tomato the same way flat map tuple for key value pass the same way how it works on the map tuple the same way it works on the flat map tuple as well and then finally with the filter so again filter is i i have created a pipeline so uh, i have created a pipeline i am creating the uh, input for the pipeline object so this is icon name duration so i'm just creating a filter on the duration column where uh, I'm filtering the data with perennial. I'm using this function to uh, create a filter on the duration column where the value should be perennial. I'm using directly beam dot filter is perennial. So I'll, I'll get all the data related to perennial. So this is perennial, perennial, perennial and strawberry, eggplant, potato is my final result. And the same way we can use uh, filtering with multiple arguments as well. So I'm creating the same example. I'm using the same example. I've created the uh, five ob five elements in inside this P collection and I'm doing a filter. So I'm give doing the filter with multiple arguments. So duration is what is the duration? Like I can pass it in as part of this uh, method itself beam dot filter. So perennial if I give biennial or annual everything will work. So I'll say I'll do this with biennial as well. So if I execute this, I should get the result of carrot. So I got the result of carrot here. So now I'll be explaining this with the uh, real-time data or you can not real-time data. It's actually a cooked up data. So I'll be using all these functions inside this cooked up data itself. So basically before starting with I'll explain what the students dot dot text file consists of. So it is consists of ID student name city age marks and result result is fail or pass. What is the mark? What is the age 2720 and city is basically CHN like it denotes Chennai, US, US, Hyderabad, something like that. So I'm just creating a pipeline with students and P collection is again a uh, uh, pipeline. So I'm reading the data from the text. Read from text that file like basically the students.tx is present in my folder. I have uploaded this. You can upload that. Right click on it, upload and select the file and just click on OK to it. That's it. So I'm creating a map using a map function to split the record. Basically the record was we have to separate the record based on the comma and then I'm doing on filter condition based on the fail who are the students who actually got fail now. I'll be filtering that record and I'll be writing to this result underscore past students and 
now the results like who are the students who actually failed and what is their marks 15 20 27 9 weakness joy sweet tinkle so uh, that's it for today's video i hope you learn something new from this video if you have any doubts please post that in the comment section i'll basically uh, try to answer it as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics and please don't forget to click the bell icon hope you learned something new from this video and i'll see i'll see in the next video the new topic until then it's bye from ignesh happy learning